video, we're going to be going over one of my most common viewer requests, and that is the uh, how to zero your AR-15 rifle. Um, basically, what we have here is a Colt 6721. Loaded it up with some uh, Lehigh Defense ammo, which is pretty accurate stuff in just about every rifle I, uh, I've tried it in. And uh, we got a target downrange, 25 meters, and it's a standard uh, target. I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of it over on my Facebook page, but it is the U.S. Army's target. The reason I picked that is not because it's the best target. It's because everyone's going to be able to search and find one if they want to actually use the one I'm using. So that's not the one I normally use, though. But anyway, it's 25. We got a little uh, rest here, just a rifle bag, and uh, we're going to get into how it works. The rifle has a Magpul rear sight and a standard uh, A2 front sight. Now, regardless of what sights you have on there, everything I say here is going to work. Uh, if you have a carry handle, if you have a Daniel Defense rear, whatever, it's all going to apply. So what I'm going to do now is take up a good shooting position and uh, get behind the rifle. We're going to fire a two-shot group, and I'm just going to do that because I'm pretty experienced. But if you're not as experienced and you're new to the platform, I recommend shooting either a three- or five-shot group. But I'm going to do two just to kind of cut down the time here on camera. But um, one thing you want to make sure you're doing when you're, you're using your rest is that your barrel is not actually hitting the rest. We have a free float handguard on here, and if you don't have one of those, just put your handguard on the rest. Do not put your barrel on it, because that will affect your point of impact. So just take up a good, strong shooting position, and uh, we're going to go ahead, put some rounds down range. Go see where they hit down here at the target and this is our two shot group right here as you can see i'm off to the right and i'm left of where i want to be for the purpose of this video i'm going to try to hit the center of this target as my point of impact so basically if you look at the target here one of the advantages of it is it tells you what to do so it's going to say on our rear sight we're going to go right which will actually increase where your impact is so front sight we're going to turn to the right rear sight we're going to turn to the left i'll show you how to do that next so here's the front sight. What I'm going to do is take a front sight tool. If you don't have one of these tools, you can just use the tip of a bullet. It works just fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put it down on there and turn it up. And go ahead and raise that impact. For some reason, this front sight is a little bit tight. So I can't really turn as freely as I normally would. But I'm guessing we're going to have to turn about three clicks. So that's one click. Two. And we'll do one more and see where that changes the point of impact. Rear sight up next. Here's our rear sight on the Magpul. You can see here it is marked. Most rear sights will be marked with that. Uh, we are going left, but if you're gonna turn right, that's where the arrow goes, but we're gonna go left. And we're gonna bring it over. I'm gonna go four clicks and see what that does to our point of impact. See. Well, as you can see there, we got a little bit closer, but we're not as close as we want to be. Still in this uh, right lower quadrant. We'll go ahead and make the same adjustments again, just a little bit bolder. What I'm going to do off camera is move it three up, and I'm going to move it four left. And see what that does. I made those corrections we talked about. Now let's see if we uh, can start hitting the center of that black. It looks like that second group of adjustments we did made the difference. We got one shot right here in the black, and one shot dead in the center in the black. So I'm going to go ahead and call that rifle zero. Now, that's how you zero your AR if you're going to have a 25 meter zero, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. A lot of guys like it. A lot of guys are used to it from their time in the military. So if that's you, your rifle zero. Um, if you zero at 100 meters, or 100 yards, or 50 meters, or 50 yards, just go ahead and move that target back, confirm your zero, because you're going to be a little bit off. The trajectory in the holdover is going to be a little bit different at those distances. Now, before everybody asks, I go ahead and zero my rifles at 50 meters. It's just uh, it's my personal preference. I think it's a good zero 
uh, distance for anything out to uh, home defense distances all the way out to 250 meters the holdover calculations are very minimal but that's a whole separate video in terms of how to zero and what distance to zero at so I'm not going to get into that today but if you guys have any questions about this video any other how-to video I do any review I do feel free to post below in the comment sections I do my best to answer those if you guys don't have an account you can post over my Facebook account here I'll put the link right here at the bottom of the screen but as always, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you new guys out. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click the link right here at the bottom to subscribe to the channel. And hope to see you guys in the next video.